So in this video, I'm going to show you how to hook up a bicolor matrix that you can buy at Adafruit. Uh, this is the link. It uses I2C to connect to the Arduino. Uh, what I2C is is a connect or communication protocol that uses a clock pin and a data pin. And what's unique about this protocol is that you can have multiple devices on only two wires, but they all have their own unique ID. Uh, and so what you do, you go to the Arduino, or not Arduino, but our Adafruit website, and when you go to the learning section of this uh, product, which is right here, you click learn, it will bring you to here, and then you click downloads, and you download the Arduino backpack library. Uh, then you have to install it into uh, the Arduino and or the Arduino IDE and how you do that you have to find your Arduino program right click show package contents and then go to contents resources Java and then install it in libraries as you can see it's right there in mine uh, and so from there uh, this is how you get it to communicate or the Arduino to communicate with Mac so you can use Mac to control the matrix. To continue, um, this is a sketch I made of how to set up uh, two sliders in Max to control the XY positioning of a single block on the matrix. Uh, and so how you do that is first you have to include the wire library which is for I2C. Then you want to include these libraries which are from Adafruit. You get it off GitHub. Uh, and now you want to create an instance of this matrix right here. And you also, this is pretty vital, you want to include this, uh, the sets up the pins uh, on the bicolor matrix. I just went through an example that I just deleted that I got rid of that and then it completely messed up everything. So that's very vital. Um, so next you set up the serial buffer or create the serial buffer. Whoops. And then you create an instance of the matrix, or you begin the matrix, but I'll say create the matrix. Sounds cooler. What this is right here is the specific address of this LED matrix. This is how if you had multiple LED matrices, you each one of them would have a unique ID right here. And that's how then you would control them individually. Um, uh, to continue, you need this, which is matrix.clear. It clears the matrix every single time. And so this is how you get it to constantly update in different positions or in the same position, and it doesn't ever look like it's changing. Uh, it sounds silly, but it's one of those things that it's very necessary. So uh, clearing the matrix or last uh, highlighted cube. So then now you create the two sliders in max using serial.parsing. And as you can see, all it relates to is so x is here, here, and then y is here. And all you do is just pack them together like that. And that's all you have to do. That's it. And so now you call up a function of the, the bicolor matrix library, and you use x to control the x positioning of the highlighted cube on the matrix and the y positioning. And this variable one, it's just a specific color. I'm just using red in this example. Uh, in this matrix dot write display, that writes the information to the display. So. Let me just update this. Hot. Draw cube and then up right cube to matrix. And you also do need this delay. Um, what this does, it essentially is this refreshing speed. So this is essential. And so from there, you're ready to go. So all you got to do is upload it. Wait, wait, wait. And also before that, let me change the values of these two to eight. And so now let me update and connect and start pulling. And there we go. As you can see, 
by moving these sliders, I'm able to move the positioning or the position of the highlighted cube. Uh, and I made these two little random objects just to show you what you could do.